Chasing criminals is no job for a lady. It should be left to the police. She became a detective because that's how she knew to take care of money. But in a way, I think it was, it was kind of her destiny. I know what I'm doing. What's so brilliant about Liza is that she gives this appearance of being a very refined Victorian lady. And to some extent, she, she is that. But she's as scrappy and as feisty as any woman today. One more word and you will find yourself in court. You might find your focus sharper, your workload lighter, if you tone down your drinking, gambling and womanising. I totally love her. She's so resilient and spirited. Eliza Scarlet is a mix of some of my favourite characters. Jane Austen's Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice with her sharp wit and observation. And with his pocket watch still on his person, it's clearly not the work of a common thief. Oh. And then the wonderful Scarlet O'Hara with her absolute dogged determination. And on the subject of my fee, it's gone up. She's making her way in a world that, uh, where the odds are stacked against her. <laughs> You're a private detective. Yes. In order for Eliza to operate in this male world, she has to use all her resources. Uh, her main resource is Detective Inspector William Wellington, a.k.a. The Duke. I've not thought this through, but... I don't know very much. I could offer my assistance for a small fee, of course. <laughs> so Eliza and, and uh, Duke have uh, quite a complicated relationship. They've got feelings for each other, but they won't admit it. Why would I want your help? You have that irritated look on your face, one that you usually reserve for me. There's a, an attraction there, and that bubbles all throughout our series, this lovely will-they-won't-they. Stop being kind. It's confusing. <laughs>